<laughs> this open, it doesn't go, get old, Chris. I, it's great. It puts us in the mood to celebrate. <laughs> we do have something big to celebrate today because it's been one year, one year since we launched in the 608. And Josh Breider, to help celebrate, I got you some cake. How nice. There's cake here. Oh, you got me some cake. And yeah, of course, we'll save, I'm not there. We'll save you some cake. <laughs> we'll eat it for you. Please do. I probably can save the calories anyways. <laughs> Well, hey guys, you know, we are super excited to be celebrating one year in the 608 this week. So tomorrow actually is the official anniversary and that's when we're going to get to more of our special coverage. But this morning we do have some exciting news. Take a look at this. News for now is taking action for you. So we are going to be your online resource for all things positive in the community. You're going to find a special section on channel3000.com where it now shows a map of every single place we have been in the past 365 days. Hundreds of positive stories making an impact across the News for Now viewing area. So when you're looking for places to go and things to do, food or drinks, or people to meet, we've met some really inspiring people. We've got everything you need to know all in one place, pinpointed out loud for you within the in the 608 section on channel3000.com. And of course, the best part, we are just getting started. All this week on News for Now this morning, we're going to have a special look back at all of the fun we've had over the past year. You can look forward to that starting tomorrow. We're going to talk about holidays. We're going to talk about all of the best things I've been able to eat and drink. Some of the craziness that I've gotten myself into. Some of those shenanigans you guys know I cannot live without. And of course, we're going to look back at some of the most inspiring people that we've met over the last year. Of course, this is just going to be a small fraction of what we've been able to share over the last year, guys. Just a lot of good happening here in our community. And I'm so excited to get out there and do even more. Okay. I would like a little sneak preview of your favorite moments. Mine uh, might be that time you dressed up as a turkey and you were out there with me at Goodman Community <laughs> Center. I had a good time with that, that one. Josh, what's one of your favorite moments? Oh my gosh, I think driving the school bus up in oh, Sun yeah. Prairie was probably my big moment because remember that was always my dr uh, dream as a kid growing up was to be a school bus driver. But there were so many moments like that, like the one time we were 100 feet up on a fire truck in Cottage Grove. I got the uh, speed skate with the Madison speed skaters. I mean, the list goes on and on and some of the stuff that, you know, we've been able to do the, over the last year is stuff I just never even dreamt I would have the chance to do too. When you dressed up as Leah, that was, <laughs> I don't know how you top that. That was good. That was good. Maybe that the, was, that was excellent. Maybe the time that the spring green lady swore on the air in that interview. <laughs> That and you dressed Twice up Twice within 30 <laughs> seconds. So that was a thing of beauty, live television, Good and we stuff. didn't get fined. Oh fined. my gosh, yeah. <laughs> yes, we did not get fined. You know what, I have to give a few shout outs here too, guys, because, you know, all of this really could not have happened. First off, for our website right now, Kyle Jones, one of our digital producers, he put that whole section together with that map going to every single place that we've been. And of course, I need to give a shout out to our bosses, Sarah Gray and Lyle Banks, yeah. for really giving me a platform to be able to showcase these stories. There are only a handful of stations, TV stations across this entire country that give the time and placement for these types of stories on a morning show. So that's really uh, important in itself. And then, of course, I could not do this without my partner in crime, photographer Mark Schilling, who's actually on vacation with his wife right now. He'll yeah. be back with me tomorrow. Um, but you know what? A lot of the stuff that I've been able to do, I would not have been able to do without him. You don't see him on TV. I try to give him as much as I can as far as shout outs, but I couldn't do this without him. So really, really, he's very, very special to me and I'm excited to be able to continue all the storytelling with him as well. The dream team, that's for sure. Josh Breider, we're lucky to have you. We're looking forward to this week. Thank you very much. And remember, let Josh know what inspires you in the 608. Reach out on social media or email him at in the 608 at wictv.com.